How's it going, Dave from Common Book Investments? So, got some stuff back from CGC, and yes, that is true. It is true, Spider-Man. It is true. Every single book I got back this week came back pretty much better than what I was expecting. I, a few came back what I was expecting, but majority, and I mean majority, probably around like, I don't know, like 70, 75% of the books I got back this week all came back better than what I was expecting, which is crazy. I never get something like that. Definitely very good. I mean, too bad it didn't come back on like a walkthrough order or something like that. But nonetheless, uh, and all these books are like, I get more than this, but these are some I selected from this week, getting back from CG, CGC. But uh, there's a lot of stuff on here that I never normally get. So I figured I'd showcase those instead of like Spider-Mans and things like that, which you've seen a million times if you watch my channel. So let's get into it. Um, yeah, if I seem very tired and out of it, it's because I am. I've gotten like no sleep in the last like multiple days. And I was about to do this video yesterday. I normally come in on Wednesday. And um, my dog has just been super, super sick. We took him to the ER yesterday. So uh, he seems a little bit better today. But I was at the ER until from like, I don't know, like 6, I think I left here to like 2 a.m. So, yeah, not fun. Anyways. Detective Comics. We're going to go in some kind of strange order here. I don't know how I organize. What number is this? 209. What grade is this? 60. Ah. All right. What, what, this is, sorry. I'm a little out of it. Um, all right. 209. I thought it says a 60 right there. I thought it'd be a 40. So good there. 459. So starting off really good. All right. Then what do we got here? The Tech Comics 172. Nothing. A hair on there. Um, I don't know. I think it's the first appearance of that guy. Whoever that guy is. Um, this one came out great. I was, I thought it'd be. Like I said, not every single one, but close to. Four ninety nine. But got some old Golden Age. It's nineteen fifty one. And got here. Del John. This is the first of. Uh, Flintstones in uh, first Flintstones appearance of Comic Force, Dell Giants 48. I've had this book before, sold it like that. Um, this came back a 7 0, and I thought it'd be a 7 0, so 12 dollars Let's see what we got here. This one, Chamber of Chills. So this one is this one's an interesting one. So I thought this would be a 5 5, came back a 6 0. But I also got another one. So I might have showcased this. I can't really remember, but we decided to put this one in the vault. It's actually, even though it's number 21, it's actually number one. And, you know, we like those old horror. So we actually had a, this one in the vault uh, from a couple months ago. But then we got another copy, which I think came back a 7-0. We thought it was going to be a 6-0. It was from this order. We thought it was going to be a 6-0. Came back a 7-0. Um, right? Yeah. And I think it was 7.0, 7 or 6.5. I don't know. Anyways, so we traded it out. That's, that's right. It's a, we thought it would be a 6.0, came back to 6.5. Uh, so we traded it out with this one. So this one's from a couple months ago, but nonetheless. Um, I think I have the price on here. 16.99. Stay. Uh, do, do, do. What do we got here? Chamber of Chills number 20. That's a cool cover. Number 20. So even though the other one was 21, it's actually number one. And the reason why they do that a lot of times what happens is, is they'll have another series. Who knows what? I don't know what that series was before. Um, but it'll be another series entirely. And then they, they kind of stop that other series and then start another series again. I don't know. And I also thought like sometimes they think like back then, like people would be more into it. It's like, oh, it's already on issue number 21. It must be popular. I don't know. I mean, they do kind of similar stuff now where they like, oh, I'm going to start with Spider-Man 1 all over again. It's like, oh, my God, not again. Not another Spider-Man number one again. Ugh. I, mean, it's, I did a rant on the numbering before. I thought this would be a 1.8. Came back a 2.0. 2.99. And that number, when I say 2.99 or whatever it is I say, uh, that is the price. These are all on our website, collectorscomics.com. And we have an auction starting this Saturday. Uh, Chamber of Chills, number 10. I thought this would be 
a 5.0. I got myself a 6.5, 4.99. So it just happens. Sometimes lady luck is on your side. Here we go. This is the actually the first Casper the Ghost. Not the first appearance of Casper the Ghost, but this one started at number seven. And that's when this this series starts is number seven. Why? I think they did like Casper one through six through a different, this is Harvey publications. And I think they did, the first appearance of Casper, Casper the Friendly Ghost was through St. John's publications. And I think that might've ran for like one through six. And then I don't know what happened. They lost the rights or who knows what, maybe they went under. Nonetheless, now it's on Harvey. Uh, came back great. I wanted uh, $14.99, but this technically I think is the first issue of the series and Baby Huey begins in that issue. Very old Casper. Bobby Benson, B, B bar, B bar B writers. I have no idea. I'm assuming Bobby Benson was someone famous back in the day. Um, let's see, it's got a decapitation cover and panels. They're not, de oh, there's people dead hanging. Heads is hanging. Um, mm. Thought this would be a 7.5 to an 8.0, got an 8.5, uh, 12.99. This is a very tippy top grade. I think it's the third highest grade. There it is. Baffling Mysteries 15. So it's gonna see a, so if you like Golden Age, got a ton of Golden Age, all these horrors and stuff. Came back great, I was hoping. Uh, no, wait, 5.99. Archie Comics, number 53. There we go. Uh, came back a grade I wanted, uh, $2.99. Uh, here we go. First appearance of Supergirl and Metallo. A lot of people overlooked that. Action Comics 252. I thought it would be a 1.0, so got a 2.0, so. $13.99. Doesn't make much of a difference, uh, kind of, a little bit, not too much in that low of a grade, but still. Too bad that I didn't send it in as like, oh, I think I'll get a 1.0 and I got a 9.8. That'd be cool. Uh, which is Actions 250, uh, 215. This is from 1956. I thought it'd be 6.5, got 7.0. 5.49. Action Comics 151. That would be a 5.5 five to a 6 0. Got it the 6 0. So that's good. 8.99. Action Comics 120. He's filming a movie. Sell out. Um, that would be a 5.5. Five, five, got a 6 5. So 4.99. See? All good stuff, all good stuff. Normally I would say, normally I get like, most come back close to what I think it's gonna come back as, and then um, I would say, I get usually get more downs than ups, usually. Like more come back worse than I thought, than better than I thought, usually. Uh, action 106. That'd be a 5 0, got a 6 0. 4 99. And last one out of the stack Mr. Mixelplex. I think that's how you say his name. Mix, mix, Mixelplex. Number 102. Uh, came back great, I was hoping. 5 49. Not bad. Now let's see what's in this stack. This stack was also good as well. All right, we got Superman 64. Came back what I th thought it'd be. Uh, 529. Strange Tales, 48. Man, I'm tired. <laughs> yeah, and the day before that, uh, he's had like, uh, he's just been so sick. I was like waking up every hour to let him out, go to the bathroom. And then I had to wash him because he's just, he's been like having like the worst diarrhea. Uh, 
Yeah, so we had taken ER. Notice he was shooting out blood. He's also just got back from getting an MRI a couple of weeks ago. Um, he has some stuff messed up with his spine. All sorts of things. I don't know where I'm at. Strange tail is 48. All right, came back great. I was hoping for 249. <sighs> yeah, I was like just about to do the video too. I was getting ready to do it probably on like five or something like that. And it was just like, oh, terrible. And so we're like, okay, let's bring him in to the ER. And then we get there and the way they, the ER does it for the animals anyways is worst scenario goes first. So even though we got there and there's literally no one else there, uh, all of a sudden, I don't know what happened. Two dogs came in, either they got hit by a car or something, and people were crying and everything like that. And they're like, well, um, so it's gonna be a little longer for you because you're not like an emergency emergency. I'm like, okay, that's fine, whatever. And then, so we sat around for a little bit because like, oh, it'll be like a half hour. We sat around for a half hour and then we asked them like, how long is it gonna be? And like, oh, it'll be like now. So then we went and got food, came back, and then it's like, oh, it's gonna be a little longer. So I was like, this is gonna take forever. So then, yeah, it just kept on dragging on, on and on and on and on. And I think I left at like 1.30, got home around like 2 or something. Um, Starling Comics, 39. This one, not good. Not good. This came back. Wait. Yes. Came back. I thought it would be a 4 or 5. I got a 4 out. So I guess one was not good. Uh, 4.99. I don't think it really makes a difference. So one not good. Star Spangled, 90. They had Robin in it. This Man, this is nice. What's wrong with it? Oh, it has a tear. It's one of those tears that's like really close together, so it doesn't really look like there's anything there. Uh, came back great. I was hoping for uh, 599. Yeah, it's like a tear that goes like whoosh. But other than that, looks nice. Nice colors, things like that. Uh, showcase 5, Manhunters. And then Showcase wasn't cool and didn't have all the superhero stuff. That would be a 4 0, got a 5 5. Hmm. 5 99. What year is this? 1956. See, DC, I, so the mid early 50s. So 50s, pretty easy, like, there's more, it's more common. 51 gets less common. 52 and 53 are, are pretty uncommon. 54 is really uncommon. And then 55 is a little more common. And then 56 on it's fine. I don't know. There's like, I can't remember exactly what happened, but something happened to DC during that time and they're just super rare. This is a cool thing. This guy's getting electrocuted and he's burning. Very cool. Number seven. I remember my dad had nine, eight of this and it sat forever. Uh, I thought it'd be four five, got a five oh six ninety nine. So a little bump there. Popular comics. I had popular number one. I had the single highest grade. I think I sold it for 10 grand three years ago. It's like the first Dick Tracy and a bunch of other people in comic books. But it was popular. Number 66. Nothing too special. Uh, I came back great. I was hoping for 399. Uh, hopefully this, this recording is good. Um, oh, this one. Awesome. This is very cool. Origin and first appearance of the Black Racer. New Gods, three, in a 9-8. A 9-8. I thought it'd be a 9-6 and a 9-8, but it got 9-8. So, yay. 12.99. So, even in the high grades, I got good stuff. Modern Love, number eight. Looking at this, uh, in a six five, I thought it'd be a five five, and I got a six five, 1999. I think this is actually super rare, very expensive. I don't think, I think six fives in like the top three grades. Military comics, number 27. 
came back the grade I wanted, 279. Not very expensive. Supply and demand. Not very much demand for Blackhawk. Love and Marriage number two. Now, what's interesting about this book is not only did it come back the grade I was wanted, 499, uh, but this is the only one graded. Right here, the only one. I'm sure others exist ungraded, but this is the only one that exists in a graded format. I think I looked online, there was an ungraded one in like a 1 0. But yeah. Wait, is this the Don Heck? Yeah, he did these covers. Um, I thought this would be a 3 5 to 4 0, got a 5 0, 6 99. See? All good stuff. Got one that wasn't very good. There was just a slight drop. Oh, this one, I didn't even know. This is uh, the Ohio Pedigree. It's got this nice shiny gold label up here. Uh, four color, 133, Ohio Pedigree. Um, thought it'd be 85, got 90, 1199. And usually good pedigrees, good pretty, there's a lot of pedigrees out there, but the, the better pedigrees usually command a premium. Uh, so the best pedigree out there is the Mile High Collection. You can have, um, you can have like, let's say you have this, a more common book. Let's say it's a 90, because mile highs were all really high grade. Let's say it's a 90 and there's another, one other 90, and the other 90 sold for like a thousand bucks. Just because it has the mile high pedigree to it, it'll probably sell for twice that. Famous Gangsters, number one, getting shot on the cover. Thought it'd be a 6 0, got a 6 5. $7.99. That'll be it. Now I have to go edit this video. Um, hopefully I'll get some sleep and my dog will be better tomorrow. Have a good day.